Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be working on building a 5 8 fixture table. So we have these real nice tables my dad built back here in the shop. Uh, they're 12 foot long, 4 foot wide. What we're going to be doing is removing the tabletops off of these. Uh, they're sagging in the middle, so whenever we build stuff it has a dip in it, especially if it's not 4 foot wide. So we're going to be removing these, putting some supports under it, and we are going to be putting a quarter inch tabletop on it with the fixture holes. So I already went ahead and made a test pilot hole. Here, these on the bottom are all 5 8 holes with different offsets. These on tops are uh, 9 16 9 16 and 11 16 So we have our fixtures that I got off of the uh, Amazon. These are from Lincoln. And they fit pretty good in the 5 8 with no offset. The 5 8 with an inside offset, it won't fit in. So we're leaning towards that or the 11 16 So this is straight off the table with pretty much no slop at all. Uh, the kerf, though, is a little, little slanted, and the way I was going to get around that was using this reamer here. And this hole has already been reamed a little bit, the uh, no offset 5 8 But like I said, straight off the table, this 11 16 uh, has not been reamed at all. It has just been cleaned up off on the back with an uh, angle grinder, and it has no slop. So I think we're going to go with that 11 16 with a inside offset. And uh, we're going to cut out about 1,400 holes on the Premier Plasma CNC table. Uh, it's 108 or 9 degrees in the shop today. So we're going to put a fan on it, open the doors to the uh, air compressor. Hopefully that will get enough air. And probably about a quarter way through the cut, we will stop it, let everything cool down, and do that four times. So with that being said, let's get the first sheet loaded up onto the machine, get it cut, and then we will load the second sheet up there, get it cut, and start putting it on the table. So let's get right to work. So we have the smaller piece of quarter inch loaded up onto the table. I already got it drawn in the background back there. We're cutting out about 600 holes right now. Um, and it is going to take 6,062 seconds. So about an hour and a half of cutting uh, to be able to cut this whole table out. And a total distance of 2,266 inches. That's just a job summary, but what we're going to do now, load it into mock and get this thing ready to cut. We got the two pieces of metal attached to the table now. My dad and I got them all lined up. We used a string to make sure all the holes were straight, and we also hit a uh, red line here. So as you can see, very nice and straight with the table. Everything lines up really good. The next thing I need to do is add the supports under the table. This is going to help with any kind of sags that might happen along the way. Right now, the sheets are very level, as you can see. There is no daylight under the sheet or under the level here between the sheet and the level. So with that being said, we are good right now. I do need to build some gates real quick. They're not very big, about four foot gates. So I'm going to go ahead and use the table, see how I like it. And uh, after we get done doing that, then we'll add the supports in. So let's get right to work. And that's going to be wrapped up this video. Thank you for watching. So we got all the laterals in the table. It's fairly flat for a homemade table. As you can see with the level, when you run it down it, there is a little gap every so often, but it's no more than maybe a 30 seconds of an inch. So it's up to my par. 
I also made this organizer over here so we can put our fixture clamps in here. Let everything hold. I'm going to have to add a, a bar across here. I cut the wrong size holes in it. But you understand what I'm going for. Going for with it at least. And then we have these buckets here that I'm going to keep all my fixtures in. So they'll be just like that and I can access them and find them really easy. Other than that, I'm going to put the clips of me building that gate. It worked really well. I'm very happy with it. So um, stick around. Take a look at that video. But other than that, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.